Yeah, first of all, what I want to say and uh, what I'm seeing now is that like uh, there is informational war, like any time that war goes on, it takes place. So what we are struggling with now, it's informational war, but it's also a actual war. A lot of my friends and my family is still in Ukraine, is still in Odessa. We are trying to stay communicated in communication, in touch. And every morning starts with simple questions. Hey, how are you? Are you safe? Are you okay? What's going on there? And I want the world to know that it's not a special operation from Russia. It's an actual war because what's going on now, civilians, they are killed. Children, they are, they are killed like there are huge numbers of of this and the main catastrophe that on the russian side they are blocking media to people not seeing the truth and if i have any opportunity to shred the light on this i'm happy to do this and uh it's my heart is broken because i have a lot of friends in russia we have a lot of friends musicians in russia labels what's on and i know that uh, they have been going to protests and meetings for 11 years and we know that this 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 situation is very scary for them because they we already did it years ago on Maidan, we fight, we fight the leader that wasn't a leader. We find the, a curse. I believe in humanity and in unity. That's all. All right. Thank you very much, much for those amazing words. Let's talk about music a bit, shall we? Yeah. Let's, yes. Let's do this. <clears throat> Art saves peace. Well, we could actually start with, uh, well, from the beginning. How did you originally get into uh, Doom and uh, Occult? And how did the Mother Witch project uh, start? Well, it was started by accident and years ago. Um, we have we had few bands in Odessa in my native city, very small town. It like was 2012 or I don't remember now, actually, maybe 2013. I, I really don't remember now. I think 2013, we first started, we gathered together because I've been visiting rehearsals of my band, of my friends and they were playing Stoner Doom. And for me, it was a big discovery. I've been a big, a huge fan of Jack White and his project, The Dead Weather. And I wanted to, and I'm a huge project of blues, uh, like Ada James, Aretta Franklin, and something like this. And for all my life, I wanted to, like, seeing this kind of music, I was like, I don't remember, 16, 17 years old. So, and uh, yeah, and we just like brought this idea and uh, I tried to make a band at my university, but it failed. <laughs> and then like step by step, um, some guys joined the band and we started playing. And uh, this is how it started somewhere in the basement in the liquor factory in Odessa. We started to play our music and we just wanted to see how the synergy of four people can work out what music we can bring into. There were no uh, there were no goal to make a specific genre, but there were a goal. There, there was a goal to make music to create something. To you, is there a spiritual side to Mother Witch's music? Of course, I mean, like my mother. Uh, my mother follows what we do. Of course, who else? And she always like, hey, please don't, don't, don't do any sacrifices. Like, please save animals. So I was like, we are not doing this. But the concept of the mother witch for me was like over the years, I figured out that it's like it's a huge part of me. It's that maybe dark, maybe cruel part of me and I guess of every woman in this world, very powerful that like what you can where you can create your own reality and maybe 
you can bless, you can send curses. If like, you know, it's some, some conceptual thing about justice, inner justice and saving lives because like, you know, mothers and children, it's, it's a crucial connection. It's like genuine connection. So, and spiritual thing, of course, it was a huge because all the alternative genres and all the alternative subcultures, they are voting against something they're like they're expressing their protest and it was kind of our protest maybe we didn't realize it back in the days but now i can definitely say it and uh this was a huge this is a huge thing for me to express myself to 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 show people that they can fight that they they can fight that they have power that i have power and to make some impact to change this world like you know overall so so something like this something like this and art and music this is especially like i believe and bible says the first uh was the, uh, there was a word first so basically what we are doing with lyrics we're putting a first uh, the word firstly and then we are gathering with the music that for the whole history of humanity it was a huge impact on the people's consciousness yeah kind of continuing on that where do you draw inspiration for the lyrics from people from life from love from pain from everything that surrounds me i remember like we've been asked a lot of times where we gather this is inspiration this is a this is amazing question i i hated it basically back in the days because uh because every genre it has it um its canons and of course you want to create something uh something unique but of course art is an inspiration when you combine you have one element and you have another element you combine them and you get you get a third element unique element so this is fine but inspiration i've been a huge fan I discovered a lot of stoner doom bands once we started doom music. So, and then like, of course you, you hear how the, how it sounds. You try to, you try to paint, you try to make this uh, strokes by the sound design, by the sound engineering to, to express your emotion better when the listener uh, listens to it. So, and my inspiration, like, all over the place, all over the history in uh, some Bible texts in Torah, because I'm Jewish by my roots and my grandmother, she's a Jewish and she is a child of World War II. And I've been going for the three years of my school into Jewish school. And I gather a lot, like I've been always searching, like I think like every human being on, on this earth, searching for the purpose of life, searching for the reason of it. So, and I've tried to concentrate of, on, on, on what we all as human beings, what we feel, what we are going through, what we experience. So there are like, I can like everything, this world, human beings, love, love, basically love. As I understand, there were plans to release new music this year. Is that true? That's super true. That's super true. Uh, can you tell something about the coming material and uh, how are the plans doing at the moment? Well, right before the war started, for last four days before it started, before Kiev started uh, being bombed, I've been recording music because now I have, I had uh, three or four music projects that I'm working on, but like one of them is pop project another one is uh, uh featuring with belarusian guy that makes music so like you know from this kind of perspective we are trying to be united and um a mother witch new album basically it has been ready for almost five years like we have all our songs composed for almost five years this is why i and some um, bodies from my band moved to Kiev to record this album and uh, now like for the last uh, few days before uh, Kiev being bombed I've been recording demos for this um, album because we already have our drums recorded like two or three years ago uh, guitars uh, and bass lines they're recorded so we started putting uh, vocals on that 
And this album, it's like um, our previous one is called Ruins of Faith. So this one's supposed to be um, dedicated to a thing that comes after you ruined your face or you lost your face and what's happening next, how you rebuild yourself, how you're going through the <clears throat> very difficult transformation psycholo psychologically and emotionally. We're all going through the same psychological stages of uh, developing of human consciousness and this is this is about this and uh, now at this moment my guitar player that is working on uh, Alex um, Alex Ruby he is still in Ukraine with his wife and uh, um, now of course we stopped the process and but i believe i fucking believe that everything go back to normal and we will release it because one of the songs and i'm it's it, it's like it's not a i feel like it's not a good time about it but as we are talking here on music and i want to thank you so much because in these difficult times it inspires and brings me back to life to talk about music because it's like it's a huge part of my life it's a huge part of my belief so thank you about this and there is a song that is called 40 spins there is you can find it uh on youtube we've played it uh live and it's about um it's about uh, 40 years of um, people who were going through the desert it's about people who believes that their seeds will give um will give a harvest and that the world will be changing for better but before it before it uh, it's done so you would have to go through a difficult you will you will experience this difficult path but from and it says about that there there will be a harvest and uh, um, a, a heavenly yard grown and uh, by covered by the tears of your enemies so basically and um i really hope that we will be able to release it this year i really hope because my inner god feelings or something like this it says that it has to be there it just it has to be there because of the concept of this because of the because someone will definitely identificate it with themselves so now what we have like two songs recorded at the demo version and we are praying that uh the war will be over soon and my guitarist as well as his wife and all of the people will be safe and then we will continue to work on this album <laughs> 